What is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex back with you another video. Wow, the Las Vegas Raiders lose once again back-to-back -back games. Now 3-5 and five on the regular season. And look, I'm going to be honest with you, the Raiders lose 26-14. But looking at this game, it felt like a game that the Detroit Lions should have won 40-10. to 10. I mean, the Raiders just were not competitive in this game once again. And once again, Josh McDaniels and this offense look absolutely fucking terrible out there. Jimmy Garoppolo at this point, yo, I'm just absolutely done with the Jimmy Garoppolo experiment look we put 14 points on the board but once again the defense was able to put some points on the board for us Marcus Peters had a pick six and really at that point in the game we were down 16 to 14 I believe and then not only that the Raiders were able to get another huge stop Max Crosby was able to force a fumble but this offense let us down time after time in this game possession after possession and as I said at this point I'm just done with the Jimmy Garoppolo experiment I am done with the Josh McDaniels experiment once again at this point Mark Davis what more do you have to see from the Raiders from Josh McDaniels to show you that this guy is not worthy of being a head coach he doesn't know what he's doing out there he's supposed to be an offensive minded head coach and he can't even get the ball moving throughout four quarters in the game you got a premier wide receiver talent in Devontae Adams and throughout the whole game you're only able to get him the ball for one reception for 11 yards then you also got Jacoby Myers one reception 19 yards that's just absolutely unacceptable from this offense Jimmy Garoppolo 10 out of 21 126 yards one interception a lot of times too it just felt like this guy's just holding on to the ball so damn long it feels like he's just waiting to get sacked just watching this team is so damn frustrating and like I said I mean at this point Mark Davis what more are you waiting for at this point I think it's time something needs to happen drastic for this team I hope Josh Daniels at this point gets fired I really just don't see any future with him things only continue to get worse for him and look at the very least if Josh McDaniels isn't gonna get fired at the very least Josh McDaniels finally has to bench Jimmy Garoppolo we have seen enough from Jimmy Garoppolo at this point and what's crazy is Brian Hoyer looked terrible last week essentially only able to put six points on the board throughout the whole game well guess what Jimmy Garoppolo essentially did the exact same thing that Brian Hoyer did last week essentially this offense was only able to put seven points on the board throughout a whole NFL game that's just unacceptable with the amount of weapons we have just the amount of money we've invested in this offense the defense was overall in this game they, they definitely made some plays to keep us into the game now I will say we were just getting dominated we were just getting gashed on the run and I thought that was something that we we're gonna have to fix in this game in order to have a chance to win it but look say what you want about the defense they weren't perfect but at the end of the day they got two turnovers and they kept us in the game throughout like three quarters but look eventually you know the offense has to show up and help out this defense it can't be one-sided like it was not only that the defense is on the field for so damn long the time of possession battle just really ends up killing you and it just wearing you out as a defense and at this point look I don't know what can go right for this team and really what I see from this team is you know the crazy thing is early in this week it's supposed to be the Raiders had you know a little team meeting where coaches and players address one another to essentially figure out what is going on with this team trying to get to the bottom of what's going wrong it was supposed to be a chance for everybody to clear the air and you know after a meeting like that you would expect this team to come out and you know have a solid performance out there and you know before the game I predicted that the Raiders were going to have a good performance like I didn't necessarily predict that we were going to win this game but I thought we were definitely going to be competitive but yo I was completely wrong about that and one thing I'll say about this team is look maybe this team hasn't fully quit on Josh McDaniels you know in terms of effort and just essentially losing the locker room a hundred percent you look maybe half of the locker room you know aka all his Patriots players are still bought into what Josh McDaniels has got going on look maybe the effort is still there from this team but one thing you can just clearly see watching this team it's just that this team is not coached properly just from a strategic standpoint we're just two steps behind almost every 
other head coach in the National Football League because we have this clown of a head coach, Josh McDaniels, leading the helm for us. Like the crazy thing is the Raiders can't even do the simple things and that's what's really, you know, holding us back. We can't even get first downs throughout very long periods of the game. We consistently get three and outs on offense. We can't protect the quarterback at all. We can't go down the field. Shit, even at this point, Devontae Adams doesn't look like himself either. I mean, he's dropping passes the past couple of weeks that, you know, you would never see him drop balls like that. You saw him just so frustrated on the sideline, and I don't blame him. We're essentially already in November. This is where your football team should start to be, get a lot better as November, December is when true football teams are formed and, you know, make real legitimate push for the playoffs. And this team just seems stagnant. And if anything, you can make the argument that this team is actually getting worse as the season goes on. But regardless, this team is not improving. We're not fixing the same mistakes we make week in and week out. And ultimately, the weak link of this team is the offense. And for me, all the weapons we've invested in this team and just in general, having a head coach who's supposed to be known as some type of offensive guru and to have an offense look as bad as it's looking right now, that 100% falls on the head coach. The Raiders get completely embarrassed on Monday Night Football. As I said, we only lost 26 of 14, but the scoreboard should have been a lot more lopsided. The Raiders just got dominated. You just look at the yards. The Detroit Lions had 500 total yards. The Raiders are only able to get 206 yards so really we had no chance of winning this game and honestly this team moving forward i don't see this team getting more than five wins i don't see this team being a playoff team or even a playoff contender and at this point i mean if the raiders are going to be this bad you might as well cut the cord on jimmy garoppolo and brian hoyer throw aiden o'connell out there he's probably going to struggle as well but at the very least he might be able to show you some flashes of what he can do moving forward and at the very least this guy actually has some upside and at the very least he can actually throw a football down the field jimmy garoppolo still hasn't shown the ability to do that even at the end of the game he had Devontae adams wide open and he overthrows him by a mile as i said i'm just done with the jimmy garoppolo experiment ever since week one this guy looks like he's just getting worse there's a higher percentage that he's gonna throw an interception than a touchdown pass so really i'm just done with this moving forward i'm so frustrated with this team there's absolutely no excuse it starts with josh mcdaniels Mark Davis, what are you waiting for? Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I definitely want to get your guys' opinion. But with that being said, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new to the channel and you guys love Raider-related content just like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.